Hi viewers, welcome to Diksham channel. Learn mathematics easily. Here we are going to find the answer for this problem. A sum of rupees 25,000 invested at 8% per annum compounded semi annually amounts to rupees 28,121 rupees 50 paise. We have to find the time period of investment. Here the rate of interest, the initial amount, the final amount is given. We have to find the rate of interest and it is calculated compounded semi annually. That is 6 months once we are calculating the rate of interest. Here uh, we will write the given things. The principal P is given as 25,000. The principal P is 25,000 rupees and the total amount at the end of the time period is given as 28,121 rupees 60 paise and the rate of interest R is given as 8% per annum but we have to calculate semi-annually so it is 8% by 2 which is 4% per half year okay now we want to find the time period of investment that is in which time period 25,000 will amounts to 28,121 rupees 60 paise at 4% rate of interest per half year okay now consider the compound interest formula. So the total amount equal to P times 1 plus R by 100 the whole power N. This is the formula. Now substitute all the values in this formula. So A is 28,121.60 which is equal to P is 25,000 multiplied by 1 plus R is 4 divided by 100 the whole power n which is equal to 25,000 multiplied by 104 by 100 the whole power n which is equal to 25,000 multiplied by 26 by 25 the whole power n. From this we can say 26 by 25 the whole power n equal to 28,121.60 divided by 25,000 which is equal to 1.1249 then the left side 26 divided by 25 is 1.04 so now we have 1.04 the whole raised to the power n equal to 1.1249 so now take log on both sides so you will get n times log of 1.04 equal to log of 1.1249 so log of 1.04 is 0 0.0170 which is equal to log of 1.1249 is 0 0.0511 from this we can have n equal to 0 0.0511 divided by 0 0.0170 which is equal to 3.007 we can say approximately 3 half years because the interest we have considered half yearly therefore n equal to 3 half years therefore from this we can say that the time period of investment equal to 3 half years Suppose if we are converting for years, which will be one and a half years. Hence the time period of investment is one and a half years. For further queries, you can contact me through mail or you can comment in the comment section. If you are comfortable, kindly like, subscribe and press the bell button for further notifications. Thank you.